Alright. First and foremost, I'm going to say all oh, and praises be to our Bashim El Shai. The bonus unto the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone. And shalom unto the sincere uh, and elect out there, man. You know, who are teaching the truth and faith and sincerity. And a quick um, point I want to speak on is um, the um, aspect of the uh, kingdom that's about to come upon this earth. Which is when we, the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, right, is when you, right, are ruling over these heathen and, and, and having rulership over these people, man. Because in case you actually didn't know, which I'm going to read here, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6, right, it says this here, man. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, according to the Bible, man, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, were actually made to be a special people unto himself, above all that are on the face of this planet. So if we're actually above all that are facing this planet, it means we're, we're actually supposed to have these people, right, under under our, our authority in rulership. But of course, because we're in this, this flesh and this sinful flesh, you know, and because you know the uh, of of the <laughs> of us is, you know. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 we obviously currently ain't in that 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 that, that state of, of being perfect and, and, and in rulership upon this earth you know we, 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 we um, currently just don't don't have, have power upon this earth but the kingdom to come we we're gonna obtain this power and have these heathen these people in slavery this is um the first which I I, I, I'm gonna go and start headed with on this point is um Ecclesiastes 10 and 6 Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walk on the servants upon the earth. So now if you go into the actual name of Israel it means he's a prince of power. So we are actually the true sons of God man. And princes, well, we are currently a service upon the earth, man. Meaning, we actually don't rule. Well, if you go to the scriptures, it says that we were actually this earth was actually made for our sakes, man. This whole world was actually made for the twelve tribes of Israel. This is um Second Ezra six and fifty four, and after these, Adam. Also, he thou made us Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all and the people whom thou hast chosen. Yeah, because people like to say, Oh, we care about oh Adam, why are you care about? Yeah, we did come from come come from Adam. But guess what his seeds his seed his his children, his seeds were actually made separate uh, over the course of time, especially during the time of Noah. All this I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So he's like, Lord, now I'm saying all this that you, you know, you separated the people, you know, and and that we are like you, you, you're chosen because you made the world for our sakes, right? It says, for as for the other people which come from Adam, thou said they are nothing but but be like unto spittle, and has has likened. The abundance of them unto the drop that falleth from a vessel. Right, so he's saying, Look, man, you know, Lord, you made this world for our sakes, and you said that, that all these other people who come from Adam are nothing. So, really, it's, it's, it's a crazy point to actually try and think of. Observe this all these other people are heathen, are island to spit to the Lord. So, if they are as nothing it means they were made for our sakes you know they 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 was made so that we could have authority over them and rule over them right 
as for the other people which also coming from Adam that are said they they are nothing but be like of the spittle and has likened the abundance of them to have dropped that void from a vessel and now and now O power behold these heathen which have, be, have been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and devour us so he's like hey look no lord lord observe this now now these heathen who are regarded as nothing are, are begun to, to, to be lords over us man and they actually devour us man but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn thy only begotten thy fervent lover are given into their hands if the world now be made for our sakes why do we not possess an inheritance with the world how long shall this endure so right now Ezra's is in, is, in a, is in a good spirit man he's like Lord this world was made for our sakes but these heathens are over us these heathens are, these heathens are, 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 just, are, are just ruling over us that shows the true um, establishment of the kingdom is when we are ruling and these heathens are underneath us and that's what's going to come to pass man because hey man it's, 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 it's promised it's, 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 it's promised to us this is a revelation 2 and 25 and they said this is the time period when all Ezra's you know hopes is going to come to pass when the, the, the whole whole table going to be turned where, where everything going to be flipped to the right side um, up it says but that which you have already hold fast till I come and, and that's this boy that's his truth and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the, 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 the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as, a, as even as I have received of my father. So, so the script is saying that we, starting off with the let, which is going to come down unto our seed, but starting off with the let, that if we overcome and keep with these words, keep, keep this truth unto the end, that the Lord will, 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 will give us power over these nations, man. Right? Which is, which is going to come to pass in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because part of, of our actual inheritance is these heathen. This is um Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, right? And I shall give the heathen for that inheritance. And the uttermost part of that earth for thy possession. Now this scripture here is 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 the um, Lord speaking to his son how shy, but according to the scriptures in Romans, which I'm gonna read here, we actually gonna join 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 as this is um Romans eight and um and 16 the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and his children then heirs of, then heirs the, and heirs of God and join heirs of Hamashiach if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also that we may be also glorified together that's why I was saying in Romans you know that that which you have already Hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over these nations, man. So, going right to the point, it says, "Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron; thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel." And that's the same thing it said in Revelation. That shows this this book is one. So 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 I says Be wise now therefore O ye kings and be instruction be instructed ye judges of the earth and and this is, this is, and this is the um, Lord speaking to his elect man serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling kiss the sun 
lest he be angry and he perish from the way and when his wrath is king but a, a little blessed are all they that put their trust in him but the point is what that you know the, these heathen are going to be part of our inheritance because part of our, our actual uh, uh, part part of, of our of our inheritance and blessing is to inherit this heathen because guess what these heathen were made for, for, for our sakes man and we were made to to, 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 to rule over it this is um Jeremiah Day and ten. The therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, save the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of thy captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, save the Lord, to save thee. That shows that being saved and salvation is only for Israel. Though I make a full end of the nations, would I have scattered thee, yet will I make, may not, make not a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee to altogether unpunished. So what he's saying that he 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 he's gonna make a full end of these nations, meaning guess what, these, these nations are never gonna come into power again, because the actual last people of rulership upon this planet that are gonna rule before the way we are in the kingdom of heaven are these children. Of Esau, which is Esau, who people call Esau's wife, right? Because I'm gonna read that quickly, then come back to this. This is um Second Ezra six and nine. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The hand of man is betwixt. And I, 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 I'm gonna read it in verse eight. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, you know, in in in, in terms of the uh, uh, in in. Terms of when the twins J Jacob and Esau were, were actually born, right? Um, here, him actually holding his heel, it was a sign of what's it was a sign of what's about to come to pass now. We actually gonna pull them out from their authority through Yahweh yeah, Shai Hamashiach, man, you know. For Esau is the end of the world, and that's what I'm talking about. This, this earth gonna combust. You know, it's talking about the, the end of the age of, of of his rulership. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. And that's what's gonna come to pass for the kingdom of heaven, right? The actual authority is gonna be unto us, man. This is um. Daniel seven and eighteen. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's right, man. So, 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 so the the the, 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 the saints, right? Go and go and inherit this kingdom, man. Right? But it says, what the, the saints shall take the kingdom. Guess what? We 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 gonna pull him down from his hill and take this kingdom, right? Which is going to be now during this time period, but if you skip to verse verse twenty four, it says uh, twenty five, no, twenty seven. It says, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting king, and all. Dominion shall serve and obey him. So let me read that again. And the kingdom and the, the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, 
whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all the dominions shall serve and obey him. That's right, man. So all these heathen gonna be underneath our foot and serve us, and 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 you know, go gonna be under our our authority, man. And and that's gonna take place how when 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 we, when we have all these heathen in slavery, right? For 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 for, for, for and, and and basically after a thousand years, these these people who crazy so call themselves white gonna be destroyed because they're the seed of Esau man you know they ain't actually gonna have a chance to actually you know enjoy this king because they, they, they as a people and nation gonna be cut off but this is going back to verse 16 in Jeremiah chapter 30 therefore all they that devour thee shall be devout and all that Adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And we read in them um, in the second Ezra six that all these these, these heathen uh, you know oppress us. So guess what? We we're gonna oppress them. Guess what? That's that's when we 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 actually gonna gonna experience man that 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 that, that, that time period of, 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 of rulership. Now, obviously, going going back in Daniel, it says, "What the saints shall take take the kingdom." But let's see who 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 these the saints are. This Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, the people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, right? And with that, I'm the end of uh, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. He is the patience of the faith of the saints. And I just read the saints and the children of, of Israel. So to compound the point, we gonna rule over these heathen. We're gonna have authority over these heathen. And that's an aspect of the kingdom to come. So with that we say all oh, honor and praise be to our bunch may shine. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, great and more stone. And with that we say, Shalom. Thank you.